today's Living Word with Pastor Arlene. Thank you for joining us for this week's Living Word. We're going to start by looking at Hebrews chapter 1. First, we'll start with verse 1. God, who at sundry times and in divers manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. So before Jesus, God spoke to us through the prophets. But now, in verse 2, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son. Today he speaks to us by his Son. And Jesus is the Word, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Jesus and the Word are one. God and his Word are one. So in times past he spoke to us through the prophets. Today he speaks to us through his Son, through the Word. Spoken to us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. So one, Jesus is the heir of all things, and we are joint heirs with Jesus. So everything Jesus inherited, we inherited. His blessing is our blessing, the blessing of Abraham. We saw that last week. And he made all things. By Jesus, all things were made. The worlds were made by Jesus, by the Word. Verse 3, who being the brightness of his glory. Jesus is the brightness of God's glory and the express image of his person. You want to know what God is like? Look at Jesus. And upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins and sat down on the right hand of majesty on high. So here, God, Jesus upholds all things by the word of his power. The power is in his word. If Jesus ever broke his word, the whole universe would fly apart. There would be nothing left. The power is in his word. When you speak God's word, it's not your confession that brings it to pass. What brings the word to pass is the power of God, the faith of God that's in each and every word he speaks. Thank you for joining us today. Music.